Hello horsey people. Today we're going for a quick trip down the Manifold Valley on horseback with Jody and Louie. Uh, this is at uh, Hume End, uh, the top end of the Manifold Valley. Good facilities there. The T-junction is the tea shop. Uh, they've got a big car park, the visitor centre, they've got all the facilities, toilets etc. The Manifold Valley itself is actually an old railway track. As you can see here, a bridge. This is the first of many. Uh, there's plenty of bridges over there. The scenery is fantastic. It was a nice day when we went, but in the middle of this year, in between lockdowns. It's uh, fairly busy along the, uh, the Manifold Valley. Lots of people. Um, cycles and runners but a uh, pretty good bunch actually and uh, we didn't have any problems with people whinging about horses etc it's a bit narrow in places but there's plenty of room to to get both horse horses and people past so there's no problem there There's no need for a map either. However, if you want to do a bit of sightseeing using a map, then by all means. As you can see, the, the scenery is fantastic, actually. Uh, the, the path is pretty straight. Uh, it does give you a chance to have a good look round. Again, an, another bridge here. This is uh, basically the first time that Jody had ever gone across uh, a wooden bridge or um, bridges with different footing so she was a little bit nervous however Louis being the superstar he is he gave Jody the confidence to to go over and no problems there Louis awesome bridges are a little bit high in places and that but uh, nothing to worry about there you go, Jody's getting a little bit more confident now. <laughs> the river runs parallel to the uh, the pathway for most of the, the way. We're heading at the moment towards uh, Thor's Cave, which is about, about three or four miles from Hume End. Um, and it's a good landmark to obviously have a look at and that you can get up to the the, the cave itself but uh, not on horseback unfortunately there are a few gates and uh, crossings along the way but nothing too too difficult uh, roads to cross there's one or two roads you need to may need to cross depending on which part of the uh, manifold valley that you're doing but uh, they're very quiet. There's a there's a few vehicles and that, but it's uh, it's nothing busy. Again, another bridge. <laughs> Jody's getting a bit more confident now. There's not many. Well, there isn't any places to uh, have a canter, at least on the the part that we did. But um, obviously, it's, it's pretty good for trotting, um, obviously, for walking as well. Um, just be mindful of the amount of people that are on the, uh, on the Manifold Valley itself. A lot of bikes. But it's not a problem. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the gates where uh, it does help if you can un unlock the gate and everything from the saddle and this is one thing that Jody's getting used to you know just uh, I open it and get get her to open it with her nose and then Bev and Louie come along and close the gate behind us
Hey, <laughs> good Louis. Good lad. A little bit further along, there's a, a small car park. And then s slightly after that, the, the next obstacle would be um, the, the tunnel. And this is about what, 140 meters long. It is lit within the, the tunnel, but it's a bit narrow. So just beware that uh, obviously vehicles use this and it's only wide enough really for one vehicle at a time. So you have to time it right. Obviously you can see the end. So again, you can see that um, well, if there's any vehicles ahead. But the only uh, issue that you would have really is if there's cycles in there as well. Uh, obviously they, they're a little bit quiet. Jody's concentrating on a cycle at the moment. A bit quiet. Uh, it is a bit echoey in there as well. There you go. I think uh, there's a cycle just going past now. She's not really that bothered. But it's one of those things to just, just be aware of. Nice view. This is actually not far from uh, from Wetton Mill. It's only a few hundred meters away. Here we stop for a uh, bit of a bit of grass for the horses, and we move on towards Wetton Mill. We'll actually go past it on the way up to uh, Thor's Cave, but we will take a, a separate route that branches off from the main Manifold Valley itself because we can go across a ford which we will see in a bit again it, it is get, it does get a bit busy towards wet and mill because there's a car park there here we go this is uh, this is the ford this is a, a branch off from the, the actual manifold itself but you can see that the manifold track uh, as we go over the well through the ford if you look to the left as you go over, you can see um, the manifold track itself. It's an ideal place for the horses to, to grab a drink. Okay, this is an old camping barn. I don't know if it's still used as such, but this is um, across the track from Wet and Mill. It used to be a camping field as well. Uh, just past that, there's a, a small um, ye olde bridge, and there's the manifold track off to the left there. We're not far now from the junction. There we go. The, they sometimes have ice cream vans there. It does get a bit busy around there when um, when the weather's nice. But even so, it's, it's, it's not too bad at all. And then we get back onto the uh, onto the manifold track itself, going over another bridge. Jody actually didn't want to go over this at first, so again, Louis had to lead because he's awesome. And then uh, we'll look back and we'll see Jody going over on her own. Then she is getting used to it. However, you know, a little bit more practice and she'll be happy. There we go. So now we're going up towards Thor's cave. Um, there's, a, there we go. There's Thor, Thor's cave. You can get to it from this side, but there's a, a pedestrian foot footbridge that uh, you'll need to use. Obviously you can't get your horses across there. I think there's a way to get to it from the other side, from actually Wetton Village itself, which is another route. On the way back, we again we take a, a, a little slightly different detour. Again, it's on the manifold track itself, but um, it's uh, the, the other side of the uh, the camping field that we mentioned a minute or so ago, and this. Is literally well, a quarter of a mile from 
Wetton Mill. And there they've got a fantastic tea shop. There is parking there as well, but I'm not sure if uh, if you can park there with uh, trailers and horse boxes. I don't think there's enough room actually. So again, have a little bit of a trot along here onto the onto the bridge. This is a, again turn off from the manifold itself, manifold track. Um, we go over the over the river, and there's the uh, the car park and the tea shop on on the right. Well equipped area, there's toilets there as well. There's Louis, come to join Jody. Having a look round, lots to see. Horses love it. <laughs> there's the car park itself. And when one person looks after the horses, uh, there's a bit of a verge that they can go and have a munch on. It's just a, a bit away from the the tea shop itself. It's out of the way of everybody. Uh, on the way back, uh, this is this is the end part here. This is uh, where the tea junction is at Hume End. There, there's the the cafe itself, the tea shop. Off to the left, that's the visitor centre. The the tea junction is a fantastic place they do the best bacon butties on the planet they do good coffee as well back in the car park time to load up get the horses back on the on the trailer and then without much ado it's time to wend our way home hope you enjoyed the video if you did find it interesting please like share and if you would, please subscribe. Thank you very much.